speaking of very successful uh, actor comedians, <laughs> let's uh, let's um, now look. More often than not, you know, we have like I would say like three types of clips that we play on this show, right? There's like um, clips of like sort of more uh, of like news figures, and we assess what they're saying, and and maybe the 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 corporate media, which also, to be honest with you, is, is they're news figures. Uh, they shape the news as much as, and many times, other news figures. And then there's, you know, sort of uh, right wingers and maybe even, um, you know, uh, people nominally not right wingers who say something that give us an opportunity to uh, make a, a, a point about. We use them as like, as if it was like, um, you know, someone makes an assertion. And uh, we use that as a jumping off point to, to um, you know, uh, talk about that particular topic. And also, maybe if we're lucky, reach those people's audience and undercut some of the premises of what they're talking about. And then there's a uh, third <clears throat> category. And we don't do a lot of these, but we do some. Mm -hmm. Where it's just, we're just laughing because uh, we think it's so funny. And... Um, that's what this Dave Rubin uh, clip is. This well, is... it turned into the option, the third option, right? Because there was a period where Dave Rubin had an audience. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no. He still, he still very well may have. But what I'm saying is that I don't know that we're going to learn anything from this other than Dave Rubin is having a very difficult time. Yeah. Because this poor guy... He had a kid in the same year he bet on both Ron DeSantis and Bibi Netanyahu. He he went all in on Ron DeSantis and Bibi Netanyahu. And uh, simultaneously, he has a child with, uh, or two children. Did they have two, two children? They had two, two, yeah, two twins. Yeah, uh, yeah. With his husband. And it turns out, and this is, uh, I guess, going to come to surprise to no one except for Dave Rubin. That if you're on the Blaze Network, uh, which is a you know a fundy uh, network of people, they're gonna be bummed out yeah. that you, as a gay person, not only is married, which is becoming increasingly problematic again on the right, but the idea that you would adopt children that became a huge uh, uh, problem, and now. They're finding out that he's uh, Jewish and he also happens to like love. Can we play that? Did you find that, BB? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Love the um, non progressive, non regressive uh, BB Netanyahu. But Isn't that why he left TYT over? Because they had disagreements. Yes. It was Israel, and uh, Jenk was uh, rightly against Sam Harris's Islamophobia, and Dave did not and like Dave, that. And Dave is now saying, "Yeah, I used to." In in this actual clip, uh, not in this clip, but in this uh, talk, uh, he talks about how Hamas or Jenk is pro Hamas now. Oh, great! Our country's being invaded right oh, now. Just sorry, just the, the he's playing the clip of uh, Candace and Tucker talking. Okay, yes, yeah, this is the uh, the anti Semites were getting together in the clubhouse and uh, and and Rubens. Uh, wait, wait, these are the wait ideas. A wait a second. Wait a second. I, yeah, what I, happened to all my friends? I thought for a second he was talking to Tucker, and I was like, damn, <laughs> Tucker's really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. I think on the part of some commentators, I mean, our country's being invaded right now by millions of young men whose identities we don't know, who probably don't even like America, and they're now living here. Over 100,000 Americans die every year of fentanyl. I've known a couple. Those are real tragedies. I've never seen anything like the emotion from any commentator around those tragedies as I'm watching about a foreign tragedy. I think that's odd. Okay, first off, I have to address one thing up top, which is that this is not purely a foreign tragedy. Uh, we think that probably 20 Americans were killed and that there are probably 12 Americans that are still hostages right now. I don't, I don't see any emotion from them about that. That, that may, may, look, I will grant the, the longest leash possible. Maybe that was a total oversight on Tucker's part right there. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, but I want to hit a couple points here. Pause it. Uh, you know you what? Know, uh, Let's pull up, um, you know, there were... Uh, uh, there are hostages in Iran, and, and uh, uh, that I'm sure Dave Rubin was talking about for ages. Like, we're definitely talking about October 7th because of the American hostages. I got news for you. You know, um, if we talked about the American hostages more, people would start wondering, like, what's our president doing yeah. to secure these uh, hostages? Like, 
Why are we allowing um, uh, Israel to wage this war, which is inhibiting our ability to get those hostages freed? Um, if not killing the hostages like, themselves. It's such a weird, like, first of all, if civilians are targeted in any sort of conflict, I, I don't care if they're Americans or not before I get animated. Well, he's, not a but he's, but, but, yeah. but he's responding, to be mm -hmm. fair. Ruben's responding Sorry. to Tucker Carlson, who's saying it's not even our country. Why do we care? And Ruben is pretending that the reason why we care is because there are American hostages sure. there. Yeah. Grant the, the law. Well, it incidentally, um, yeah. we also know um, uh, uh, that uh, we've had Palestinian American reporters uh, killed and, and Palestinian Americans killed in Gaza. Yep. And Just the family. Somehow we're not. But whatever. <laughs> Probably 12 Americans that are still hostages right now. I don't, I don't see any emotion from them about that. That, that may, may, look, I will grant the, the longest leash possible. Maybe that was a total oversight on Tucker's part right there. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, but I wanna hit a couple points here. Uh, you know, a few things can be true at once. Tucker is not wrong that as Americans, we should always prioritize America's interests first before any nation. When he talks about conservative commentators, I don't think he's talking about me specifically, but do I talk about this, the border virtually every day on this show and connect that to the drug problem and what it's doing to our inner cities and everything else? I have no doubt that Ben Shapiro is doing that as well and Glenn Beck is doing that as well and everything else. So uh, he's, he, so that's just one little piece here. But Americans sure ought to be that. able to be pro-America first and, and understand that there are people who slightly emote differently and prioritize differently and all of those things. And by the way, we have candidates who address these things a little bit differently, right? We have Trump who addresses it in one way and DeSantis who addresses it in one way and Nikki Haley who addresses it this in one way. This guy's walking a is real tightrope, right? I mean, he is like, I don't want to offend uh, Tucker and Candace uh, because I can't afford to lose any friends or even remote friends. Uh, but at the same time, I also have to justify uh, what I've said in the past and what I built my whole career around. And also, uh, please, no one noticed that I'm in front of like some weird green screen. And, and what is he, going on? Yeah, his, this is not a real place. What? What is like? He's got that he, rumble he, thing. Has back he had there. to move out of a, uh, a, a, a like move. I guess out. It's, yeah. He, maybe they have the new set or something go, going up because he was in that little room with uh, yeah some weird Weinstein. stuff going on with him. Yeah. Um, maybe we should cut back on the investment. Also, uh, the, just a new studio pet peeve of mine, like when when commentators say, oh, Trump feels one way, DeSantis one way, Nikki, That's what right. way can you elaborate? Because it's not like just a difference in like what sock color they're wearing. It's pretty important to delineate which the how these candidates view uh, Israel. If you and try oh, and they all love them let all. me let me help you out with that. Yeah, it's the no way. Oh, yeah, that's what it that's it. In, in, in no way are they different. Ah, gotcha. In one way and DeSantis who addresses it in one way and Nikki Haley who dresses it in one way. But the point is that we should be able to walk and chew gum at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, Platitude. you should be able to be concerned about our border and want our border. I mean, how many times have on this show have I said that we should be closing down our border and we should not be letting any of these people in? And we A have to million out times. Who's here and we're going to have to get rid of some of them and all of those things. And we all know, I know people who have died of fentanyl. I know someone who's, who's hooked on fentanyl right now. Um, so everyone is concerned about these things. It is possible that the sheer barbarity of the events and, and the videos that we've shown you here and some of the ones that you've seen elsewhere or that I don't even want to show you uh, would, would jar some people into being more emotional. It is also possible that Jews in general might be, generally speaking, a little more thin-skinned when there's a massive attack against them because Jews have been programmed and holocausted and everything else across the globe. So Jews might be a little more sensitive to that. Uh, but it is also true that we should all care about not only the American citizens over there, but that there is a civilizational battle happening right now, right? What have I been saying for weeks now? If, if you think that when they're done with the Jews over there, they're going to magically be done with the Jews in London, but it's not the Jews, that's the point, that they're gonna magically <laughs> be done with all the Western values there in London go, and yes. Paris and Belgium and Montreal and everywhere else. Well, like, can of course you pause they're it? Not. Yes. I like the idea that like, oh. he just knew that when he said it to his audience, like they're not gonna connect with the, the Jews stuff. Yeah, they, no, they, no. They, they don't really care. It's, it's actually, be, they're coming for you too. It's the Western, it's coming, they're coming from, Hamas is coming for Westerns. 
Now, if you look <laughs> at the history of Hamas's uh, international attacks, you will see that there are none. <laughs> um, and that, in fact, um, they are uh, they are not an international terrorist organization, even if you um, wanted to desperately believe the framing that this is a clash of civilizations like we we'll bring back the old hits. We get the old band back together. Maybe uh, Sam Harris will, will will rescind the fact that he thinks I'm a moron and uh, he'll come back on uh, my show and we can talk about the the clash of civilizations. Yeah, maybe we can measure skulls uh, between Palestinians and Israelis and see how that goes. Yeah, let's continue on. This is uh, the, the level of desperation here is really amazing. Not going to be. It is just going to be the beginning. So when you, when they're going for the Jews now, it is the whites next. And I think I have offered a pretty <laughs> fair defense of white people on this show. A well deserved. Uh, I love uh, this. <laughs> like, well, I like, so- like the like. Who here has been like? I don't want to get involved in a uh, competition about who has been a little more racist <laughs> and also uh, white supremacy. I said I like But I think you, I've been pretty white supremacy. <laughs> and so I'm just saying, you know, just because I like the Jews and I have kids doesn't mean that I can't be one of the crew who talks about like deporting all the people who've been here and I it's all I'm saying he's an ally he's an ally to white people thank you so much I said Dave. allies matter I said George Floyd killed himself with drugs <laughs> and where do I get the where does it get me redeem this stuff for you guys to turn your back <laughs> oh my god it's really what does a guy have to do how much do I have to prove do you want to see what I've got tattooed on my go ahead let's see let's see where else he goes white people on this show a well-deserved uh uh defense uh, because yeah. so, of course the Jews are just the first people. line in what actually is going on here so then it harkens to the to the question does this mean that america should get involved militarily and and send our troops across the middle east and everything Keep else no dollars? i'm not for that I'm actually not for that. We what I am are, for bro. is that we can offer a lot of diplomatic support. We can offer a, a certain amount of weapons mm. as needed to understand, to beat an evil terrorist organization the same way we defeated ISIS and nobody said that we shouldn't be allowed to. We might want to do something like that. Um, but okay, all of that said, uh, I did respond to that clip on Twitter uh, and a lot of people thought I kind of nailed it. I just sort of summed it up right now. Pause it. I said there uh, least- a lot of people are saying I nailed it. <laughs> so I, I really nailed it. I nailed it. Um, Tucker says, I'm an American. Our country is being invaded right now. Wait, is he on the blaze? No, the That's blaze, the blaze tweeted it out. It. They're I clipping mean, each other negatively. Now, well, right. Like I mean, the blaze is doing this. I mean, there's 100% synchron- synchronization between Ruben here and his corporate you know, uh, boss there, uh, the blaze, because they're trying to weaken Tucker and weaken the daily wire. Um, maybe they're looking for some like APAC or pro Israel right wing donations to keep so the Dave Rubin afloat. is, Oh, okay. A lot of people said I nailed it on this, uh, on this one here and oh he's just basically saying what he had been saying in this exactly clip. but hey go support that tweet that i did and retweet it <laughs> yeah <laughs> let's see uh hyperlink 12 american hostages note they don't get emotional about them at all like like if this is about americans shouldn't tucker and candace be really emotional about those uh americans that are likely under the shifa host- hospital right now yeah. also virtually every so just, oh, uh, about the shifa hospital yeah. i'm sure did i say shifa Shifa Hospital? Yeah. No, I meant that other one, the Indonesian Hospital. Mm. And that, uh, with a different one in a different part of the country. I'm not getting emotional here. I'm just trying to say that a group that is but it's targeting a exclusive project in one part of the world is actually coming for everybody on a civilizational uh, no, I, basis. Let me, let me be a little more explicit. Um, when they came for the Jews, I didn't say anything, but then they came for the whites. And so... I'm uh, like, I defended the whites. I mean, you deserved it, but I did anyway. <laughs> A pretty well deserved defense of white people. <laughs> Go ahead. The commentator has been talking about the border and drug trafficking. Maybe something uniquely horrific about what Hamas did is causing emotion. So there is a weird element there related yeah. to, oh, it's, a, you know, like some people say Israel has a disproportionate response. And basically yeah. what Tucker and, and Candace are saying is, oh, they're having a disproportional emotional 
response Can to 1500 people dead. Um, no one's uh, acting emotional about this in like the way that he's describing. Uh, it, the, the genocide is a disproportionate response, and it's not just Candace and Tucker or lefties with pink hair that they're saying it. They're not really even saying that, to be honest. Like that's the weird thing about Tucker yes. and Candace is they don't even really say that. They say our too much money is being sent overseas, and why is it our problem? And when they'll do nothing Mexicans about it. Why well, right. is he saying yeah. we should give diplomatic support? <laughs> But like these are okay. Genocide scholars uh, Omar Bartov, listen to uh, him on Democracy Now. Roz Siegel, in you know a month ago in Jewish Currents, spoke about how the UN Genocide Convention has five acts that fall under its definition. As of a month ago, they were participating in three of those five acts. It's clearly expanded. So like no one's being hyperbolic here, except for. Dave Rubin, who's ignoring the facts that is being that are being pre- presented by these kinds of scholars in order to prop up Israel in an emotional way. Yeah, but uh, white people need defense. We're going to skip a little bit ahead here because he, he, he goes on to look, uh, some different topics, but he gets asked another question because there's a QA and a and it kind of uh, comes back on the top. It okay. really is amazing, though, to watch him like have to like it navigate. Is, he's having this. to work. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is the first time like I've got to go to work. And, like, how it's am I not going to work, by the and way. You imagine how bummed he is because he put all his uh, eggs into the Ron DeSantis basket. Yep. And now, like, DeSantis is just like, it's a total dead end. And he's going to have to do some, like, massive, like, 180 again. Yep. The real the progressives are regressive. <laughs> I can't believe you can't find that, that clip. That really is. That is like, I mean, what, you're going to get docked at the uh, commissary. <laughs> all the golden age. Uh, All right, we're getting some questions live on the fly today to uh, mix it up. Florida Man Chuck says, Jordan Peterson asks asks the question all the time, but what, in your opinion, would need to happen for people on the left to finally come to their senses and throw their hands up with this whole charade? Does Hamas need to attack someone in the Alphabet Mafia in America, or does someone have to die from gender reassignment Pause it just to remind people what the Alphabet Mafia is. It's just gay people, Mm -hmm. uh, LGBT. Oh, is that what it is? Become completely mutilated from it all uh, to all be too far. This is the this is the maybe the most important question right now because after uh, the the October seventh attacks, we saw this wake up of a lot of people on the left. Now it tended to be uh, a lot of Jewish people, lefties, Democrat lefties, but then a lot of other people, just like the moderate Democrat types. We're like, whoa, 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 what's going on here? It's our guys who are now chanting for more genocide. It's our guys who are excusing these like unspeakable uh, acts and all of that stuff. They start waking up and that's also what's, what's a shame about this Ben Candace thing. And it's partly why I almost didn't want to cover it today because that's a thing that's happening on Twitter. Now it's, it's bursting forth into the mainstream and, and I, I'm sure it'll be all over bursting YouTube and Rumble forth. and everywhere else today. Yep. But I kind of was like, maybe if I just ignore it a bit, or give it a pause for a couple of days, it won't just add more to it because when you see the ugliness that's happening on the right right now, and that's what I'm addressing here, um, and some of that I do pause put it. at the- uh, And now of- you would be forgiven if you didn't realize he was addressing the ugliness on the white, be- on, the, on the right, because all he's saying is like, I defend white people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I also call for like, you know, people's families to be broken up and uh, them shipped back, uh, you know, to whatever country they came from. Yeah. Uh, Razor wire in the Rio. I mean, the this is just so uh, fascinating. I mean, aside from like the normal like Dave Rubin, like, I mean, how many times has Dave Rubin, have we mocked Dave Rubin for saying... There's an awakening. Like things are really exactly. changing. Like I've seen really like nope. so many people have like clicked on this hashtag and like I don't really think things are changing. And here he is. Like he just matches these stuff and it's 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 really ruined that narrative. Yeah. Candace, I put some of it at the foot of Tucker. And by the way, and again, Tucker, who I like and wrote a blurb for the back of my book and all that stuff. It's like no, no one is above criticism, right? I'm not above criticism either. Um, but why it's so disappointing with what's happening on the right right now is there's all, there's a huge swath of people, a group of people that I always say are the one group of people who could move, who could actually vote a different way. And we know that because of the amount of liberals who have moved down to Florida or to Texas who now vote solidly red. Well, if they start seeing chaos on the right, what the hell's going on with these people? And that's a whole bunch of craziness over there. I thought Dave said they were kind of decent. Then they are just going to be pushed back to the Democrats. So... 
it's it's I, a I'm huge s- problem. I don't know what I, it will I, take. Like, do I? This is just now. We're just in like full sheer like narcissistic insanity. It's like we're his therapist. Like, yeah, I'm sorry. Really? Are there are there a group of big liberals who are watching Dave Rubin on the Blaze now? <laughs> and do people like? Ruben's idea of politics is so juvenile that it really is like, oh, look at they're, they're arguing. I think I'm going to support expansion of Social Security now. Like what? Like w- w- what insanity? I know. Oh my god! But you know, I and again, we have you know three or four different types of clips, and this is the one where it's just like watching how uh, hilarious. It is to have to watch this guy work this hard to try and figure out how he can thread the uh, needle between um, the wacky left, the, the white supremacy. I'm like flanked by white supremacy and um, Jewish supremacy, and it's really problematic. I can't figure <laughs> out which one I've got to go to. I, my point is we can walk and chew gum at the same time. 